Do you remember this? This is my dual rate bench power supply. Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video we're gonna upgrade my dual rate bench power supply. Because before it was working ok but doesn't have any protection future. So without further ado, let's get started. So this dual rail bench power supply I built a while ago, if you don't see the video, I'm gonna put it over here that you can see when I build this uh, dual rail bench power supply. So practically you have the positive side over here, negative side over here with the power transistors and it was a normal uh, analog uh, regulating the voltage because it was a linear one and you have the dual power supply here and then a small power supply which was powering the displays and these electric fans over here to keep cool. So now I need to take out this, this, those one they were gonna be moved in that side and here they were gonna be installed these two items. So let me do this change and then we're gonna come back to do some uh, testing. So I installed already the module so you can see here is one and here is the second one and I moved the transformer, the small transformer from here to here and then the rectifier board with the smoothing capacitor from there to here. So let me explain a bit what how I connect all the wires and then I'm gonna also show you in a piece of paper everything what I've done so far. So I have one positive negative from one capacitor, so I have another positive and negative from se second capacitor, which are not connected yet to make the common ground zero voltage to be like positive, zero and negative. One power supply goes to this one and the second one goes to input on this one. The output from this one I have yellow is positive which is going inside to the other display that shows the voltage and the ampere so the positive goes through this uh, kind of uh, meter and then goes out to the fuse and from the fuse goes to the output banana plug connector that uh, I can connect the wire when I do some testing. Then the negative goes same inside of this meter and from the meter goes to a banana connector and from banana connector go to this switch and from the switch go to a common ground that it will gonna be the zero point then. When I press the switch on I will gonna put in series this board with this board. Same also from here the red is positive goes to same the second meter that measure the voltage and amperes and then the output goes to the banana connector and from the connector goes to the switch and from the switch goes to the common. Then the negative which is the black one this one come from the board goes inside the meter and from the meter goes to the fuse and from the fuse goes to the connector so it, then when I switch the, these two switches on I'm gonna have a negative zero and positive. Let me also show you exactly on the paper what I did so far I'm gonna draw for you that everything from the outlet socket goes to the transformer to the other transformer and all the connector that I did so far. Let me start the drawing the, all the connection what I did so far over there. So we have the transformer with dual output I say. So I have dual output on this one with 42.5 volts, 42.5 volts. So I have two outputs over here and then I have another transformer, the small one, which also have two outputs that one that have 12 volts and 12 volts AC. Then this one are connected uh, together to the main socket power supply 220, 245 volts that I have on UK here on the outlet. Then from from this uh, this is the big transformer and this is the small transformer. So the big transformer then has uh, two rectifiers. I'm gonna just draw it like that, and what I'm gonna say here in this side is positive, and in this one is negative. I'm gonna draw the second one, same positive and negative. So I have this one that goes here and then I have the positive that goes up and the negative that goes down as well also here I have the same connection with the positive that goes up here and the negative that goes down here and then I have the the capacitors and after the capacitors I have uh, I'm gonna draw like uh, let's see I'm gonna put here this is the one module the regulator voltage so regulator voltage one and then I have the second one regulator voltage and then I have the other two meters so I'm gonna draw also the other two meters meter and I'm gonna draw also the second meter and then I'm gonna say here that I have one banana plug which is gonna be positive then I have another banana plug which is negative and I have one banana plug which is 
home and it will gonna be zero volts and then I have another banana plug which is negative and another banana plug which is positive because if if I want can I use only one power supply for something and then can I use the other one for the second uh, if I'm doing more things it's much easy if I using only with the one power rail supply I can power two devices separately with different voltages and when I need to power something with the dual rail power supply I just switch this one in series and then I have that one so let me now add here two switches so I have one switch over here and then I have another switch over here positive and negative I'm going to say positive negative positive and I have negative same as this one positive negative and then I have here positive negative from this one same I have uh, two rectifier boards over here same with positive and negative positive and negative and then I have also regulated voltage to from 12 volts to bring down to 5 volts for this one meters because these meters are working on 5 volts so I'm gonna have also here positive and negative uh, power supply then I have positive and negative power supply then I have positive and negative for the input and then I have positive and negative for the output same I have also here positive and negative for the input and I'm going to put here positive and negative for the output positive negative negative positive how this one works so from here same I have two capacitors also here which goes to negative this goes to negative this one goes to positive this one goes to positive and here we have the AC voltage coming in AC voltage coming in and from here as I say I have the regulated voltage that uh, 5 volts regulated voltage each is powering one powering this one and then the second one I have same uh, 5 volts uh, regulated regulator voltage regulator and it's powering the next one this and then from here as I say one goes to one and the second one goes to the second one the wires and I say then from here I'm going to connect with this one so from here I have a negative that goes down to power this one with negative and then the positive as I say that goes same down to this one same like for this one the negative goes to this meter and the positive goes to positive of this meter then I have the positive of this meter that goes to a switch and from the switch no go to the switch and go to also a positive banana connector as I say and then from the switch goes also here to the common then the negative goes to the fuse I say and then from the fuse goes to the banana connector so here I have a fuse then from the other uh, other one which is negative negative comes to the switch so I don't have any more space over here now we're gonna try to so go the wire from this one so negative come from here and goes to the switch and from the switch goes also to banana connector the negative over here and from the switch goes to common because it will gonna be positive in series with the negative and then I have positive zero and negative and negative here so I'm gonna have zero volts negative and positive so then the positive from this one goes to a fuse I say and from the fuse go up to the positive banana connector and when I switch these two I make in a series this positive with this negative so I'm gonna have positive zero and negative now let's bring back the dual rail power supply on the bench and do some some tests okay so let's turn on and we can see I have these meters and then I have this one that I'm regulating the voltage and we can see here now it's set up to 9 volts this side and this side same 9 volts with the current limit to 10 amps and if I turn on one side now if I measure I can see already it's telling me this side that already has voltage and uh, it's 9 volts show me here it is showing me 9.01 and if I measure this side you can see I have 9.01 so this one measured like the multimeter and on this side I don't have yet nothing because it's not yet turned on as soon as I turn on also the other side it will gonna measure the same voltage over there so you can see here this one doesn't measure too much good it's 8.97 actually same 899 
and here is show me 9 volts. So I might need to calibrate them a bit to understand uh, why this one is show me 9 and then just put out only 899. Anyway, now as you can see the middle doesn't have any voltage with any side. So as soon as I switch this one too, I'm gonna have positive and negative. So here I have positive and here I have negative. As you can see. So now I become a dual ray power supply. So I have positive, zero and negative. And as soon as I switch this one off I can uh, put they see this side I'm doing something that needs to have let's see 12 volts so let's open 12 volts for this one so let's see here I have uh, something that uh, I need 12 volts and I can use this side to, to power that 12 volts for uh, that things that I'm doing and here I still have only 9 volts so I can power the second device with just 9 volts so I can use uh, like separate dual uh, two power supplies or I can uh, uh, join them together and then I can do a uh, dual ray power supply. So now let's see how handle the current and I'm gonna use this resistor for this uh, test. So let me just set up back to 9 volts also this one and I'm gonna connect the resistor to see how handling also the current. So 9 volts over there as well. Okay so 9.8 9.6 9.9 okay so let me just uh, switch off the outputs because pressing this button you switch off the output and let me connect these two resistors so i'm gonna have one resistor to one side of the power supply which goes to that one and then this resistor to the second power supply only that this one it might become very very hot so I need to be careful where I put it because this resistor they become really really hot when I did some tests before they become really really hot so now let's turn on the outputs and now you can see here we are drawing uh, one amp and one amp over there so let's increase so I can uh, do like that and I can press the button to come to the voltage and I can straight away modify the voltage so I'm gonna do this one to the the 44 volts 43 42 volts and I'm gonna do also with this one same bring it up to 42 you can see we are drawing 5.125 amps over here so it's more than what I need I need 5 amps for any kind of dual rail amplifier and it's handling very well this one is already toasting the resistor so yeah I really I'm really happy and uh, term of costing if you want to buy power supplies it will gonna cost you let's see the cheapest one what I sell in Aliexpress costing around uh, 50 pounds so maybe more than 50 pounds a, a decent power supply let's see up to 50 volts with 5 amps that one cost at least 80 pounds one so I need two so I will gonna go to spend almost 200 pounds in power supplies in order to do a dual rail power supply with those supplies but then I spent only 15 pounds on this one 15 pounds on this one and I had around the transformer I had around some rectifiers and I have around some uh, capacitors so overall cost me only let's see 40 pounds or this project so yeah if you need any help please leave your comment down below and I'm gonna help you to build a dual rail power supply like this one Okay guys, let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinion about this project. If it's worth to build a power supply on low cost like this one, or better spend some more money and buy decent power supplies. If you're planning also to build this uh, power supply, and you might face any trouble or you get blocked, say, leave a comment down below and I'm gonna be more than happy to help you. And please subscribe, activate the notification bell to don't miss my next projects. Because now with this dual ray power supply, I can test a lot of uh, amplifier schematics. And if any of those are working nice, I'm gonna design a PCB and I'm gonna build a proper amplifier. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like. And until the next video, guys, bye bye and have a good day.